do we do this again? Your guess is as good as mine. The money. <laughs> if that's why we would have quit before we started. <laughs> You're not wrong. Certainly not for the children. Oh, that's a tad harsh. So sandpaper. Well, why'd you get into teaching then? To spread my influence far and wide. Okay. No one really knows much about Jacob. Well, speaking of spreading influence, uh, I've got your sevens now. Class started like 10 minutes ago. I'll see you guys later. So do you not care at all about the kids you teach? I gave up caring years ago. It's far easier that way. Do you know, the day that I stopped caring about the kids, I just don't think I could do it anymore. <laughs> I always knew you were soft. What was that? I said, I always knew poo was soft. Right. Well, I've got 140 tests to mark. Not that that's going to be hard. So I guess I'll uh, see you later. See, that Jacob is strange, isn't he? Strange? The only person stranger is like a random on the street. <laughs> no, but seriously, I hear that he never turns a light on in his house. Like, ever. See, that's dark. And he teaches media and science. Who does that? I know, right? Oh. Bizarre. I don't like being interrupted. I teach art and visual communication and design, both exemplary subjects. I suppose that explains my exceptional sign language skills. How was your art class? Better than yesterday? Worse. Really? Why? Well, Jackson was throwing paper planes and Kevin stole my whiteboard markers. Children, through their many years of training, seem to have fine-tuned the art of, how should I put this, ticking off <laughs> their teachers. Jones, fired. Smith, sacked. Matthews, retired. Mind you, a little help never goes astray. <laughs> I don't like to simply lecture my students. I want my classroom to be engaging, an open conversation. Year eight, Michelangelo was born in 1475 in what is now known as Tuscany, Italy. Was Michelangelo a turtle? A what? How do you know what a turtle is, Miss? <laughs> of course I do. Well, was he? No. Don't be stupid. <laughs> foolish, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Don't be foolish. I'm happy to say I always maintain complete composure in the classroom. <laughs> say I'm even due a promotion. Oh, pest. I bet you wish you could just wipe him off the roll. If only. Hard is good. Yeah, that's true. Maybe one day I'll be able to. Andrew Carters is the principal here. And let's just say I go out of my way not to get in his.
I like to keep the school a short leash. I find Mr. Carter's disciplinary measures a little old school. Like circa 1409. Jimmy, Frank, good to see you're both happy to relinquish the last vestiges of freedom. I enjoy nothing more than spending Saturdays with fine young gentlemen like you. I've got a little something planned. They won't know what hit them. The teachers, that is. Yeah, it's always a little scary when Carter's calls a staff meeting. I'm sure you're all wondering why I've called an extra staff meeting today. Mr. Carter thinks a bit of suspense adds interest to his staff meetings. And all will be revealed in a minute. Seven hours, 28 minutes, 38.5 seconds. That's the amount of my life I've wasted in staff meetings this week. I have an announcement to make. <laughs> you should have seen them. They were eating out of the palm of my hand. <laughs> One of our staff members will be leaving at the end of this year. This staff member could certainly be seen to have had a, a large influence on our students. They have embraced learning technology it really made a difference. But I'm sure you all want to know who it is that's leaving us. It's me. I've decided to leave. <laughs> I've really and thoroughly enjoyed my time here. And I'm sure that my successor will enjoy their time equally. Join me in a, a warm round of applause and welcome for Jacob Richards. Congratulations, Jacob, you are the new principal.